In 2017, Michael Porter Jr. blew people's minds, a six foot 10 high school scoring machine. He was due to be one of the very highest picks in the 2018 draft until a back injury ruined his college play at Missouri. He entered the draft while still rehabbing from surgery and fell all the way to the Denver Nuggets at 14. There was a feeling out period with glimpses of star potential. As our coach Thorpe likes to say, running around with no clue what he was doing. But the Nuggets held on to him despite tantalizing trade offers. And it's paying off. Here in 2021, the Nuggets are rolling, even with Jamal Murray injured. Is Michael Porter Jr. emerging as a legit number two on a title contender? MBJ has earned the trust of head coach Mike Malone, his teammates, and is displaying all NBA level talent. Over his last dozen games, his true shooting percentage is 70%. He's become the team's second leading scorer, he's playing within the offense, and is reading the game. And while you won't mistake him for an all NBA defender, he's not the liability he was last year. He's number four among Nuggets starters in defensive rating and number three in defensive win shares. He can still make mistakes and get lost at times, but he's working. Defense is about knowing your assignments and the game plan, but it's also about giving a shit. I welcome you. You know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a, a star player myself. I want to so guarding the opposite team's best players as part of it. Um, you can't. I don't want to be a, like one of those star players that hides from the other team's best players. Nikola Jokic is almost certainly the MVP. With a 22-year-old 6'10 scoring machine next to him, it's easy to see the Nuggets being relevant for a long time. MPJ has only played in 110 regular season games and is still improving. As are the Nuggets. They made it to the second round two years ago and the conference finals last season. So you know what comes next. Look, I'm just saying.